the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, guys, peace. Yo, what's going on, sexy Samuel underscore? We are starting off our try. Oh my gosh, my face cam's not on. Hello. There we are, boys. Oh, why is it so high up there? So high up there. I feel like, I feel like you see the whole fucking wall, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of weird. That's kind of weird, champ. Anyways, what's up, boys? Um, Is it bright? Is it bright or is it? If I no, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's pick a god. Uh Oleron is open. Kali's open. Bastet is open. Um Freya is open. What do I wanna? I mean, it's try hard Thursday, so obviously catching dubs is the priority. Do I want to try to catch a dub on Bastet? Which historically has not been my best god, or do I stick with what I'm good at and just play? Mage ADC. I think we just stick with what we're good at. <clears throat> His bands are Scotty Soul AMC Chronos Hell and on All right. This is going to be a hard game because Oleron's alt is very good. However, that being said, even though his alt is very good, my alt is very good at countering his alt. Uh, so I could go Bancrofts, free. could go Mannequins, I could go anything. I think what I want... <coughs> Plasma sword, fully charged. Mm. No, I think we do this. I was thinking about just starting... I was thinking about just starting with Tier two Bancrofts, but I think the downside of that is I get no attack speed. Obviously, I, I only get five percent with tier one of this, but I get no attack speed, and my secure is pretty bad. Not to mention my mana usage is relatively high. Using my m fighting combo is a hundred mana, and I only have three hundred mana, so um, it's not the best. Obviously, his clear is going to be way better than mine, so fighting is where I want to be. Fighting is where I uh, is where I hang out at as a Freya. Um. Oh, thank God that didn't hit me. Now he got multi pots also. The reason I got a mana pot, literally exact reason. Uh, he's gonna out clear me. Nothing I can do about it. Just how it is. And then he will probably get the red buff. Kind of sucks, but like I said, just kind of is how it is right now. Can't do much about it. Um. I'm sure he's just gonna go to red, right? You're not going to try to steal this? Alright. Whoa. He didn't get red either. Okay, that's a massive surprise. That's actually a massive surprise. I really thought he was going to go for the red there. Actually, just went for blue. Okay. It looks like we're playing a farming game. I don't know if he wants that, though. I think Freya late game is pretty nice. I mean, obviously, all around late game is nice as well, because good chance. But Freya just in general has a bit more oomph to each hit. And I think I like that quite a bit. Like, I think as a player... Late game Freya suits me better than late game Oleron, so I might be able to outplay. That being said, he's absolutely shitting on my wave. Making it very difficult to get past here. That's fine. I don't mind. Alt for alt. Mm. Uh, honestly, I'm down to... <laughs> nice 360, dude. I'm down to stay, though. I want the gold. <clears throat> mm. 
Mm, I'm gonna try to be annoying here. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. It's a little bit weird because, like, here's the thing: if if he super out clears me, pushes me under wave or pushes me under tower all the time, I'm gonna lose too much gold, and his like him is just gonna be better because of the fact that he's so far ahead, right? The problem with that is that <clears throat> if he isn't able to push me under tower, like if I if I stay and I try to be not aggressive necessarily, but try to be confident in my gameplay then it's going to be hard for him to, to push me and it's going to be even harder for him to get any sort of a lead which is what it's exactly what he needs in order to win the game because in fact it's the only thing he needs in order to win the game okay. um we both have lifesteal Oh, shit. I was in... Um... What was it called? I was in his alt, and I tried to three, and I thought my three was good. I thought it actually was, was solid. But, uh, apparently I missed it. Maybe he backstepped or something. He is very fast in his alt. So, but it just... And what happened? Yeah, he did his alt. Or did it did his red, I mean. It's also full HP, so I doubt I kill. Probe placed. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. I used my ult because I thought it would kill, and then it did almost nothing. Ray ult does a lot, but only at later stages. Only when you have enough power built for it to matter. I was deceived. And now my ult is bad. Okay, hitting me is irrelevant. You have no ult, you don't win the fight. Okay. If it's heavy, forget about it. <clears throat> He's pretty far ahead of me though. Hmm, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know why you're so confident. Without alt, you don't win the fights. Just like, at all? Ever? Unless I miss, of course. And you get a cuckoo amounts of crits, which could happen. Ouch. How much is this? 950? Probably just gonna back and get it. <laughs> Can't really stop his clear. I generally don't care about any kind of damage that he does to me because I'm my life deals relatively good. Man, it sucks. To have no damage with your ult. Oh, that's horrible. Because now my back is super late and he gets his shoguns. <clears throat> okay, maybe I can get there in time. It's gonna be a little bit risky though. Got beads. I'm gonna go horrific here. Whatever. 
Fuck it, give him red. I don't care. I do care, that was a lie. I do care, but... I can't stop it right now. Alright. If I'm not gonna ban Oleron, I have to learn how to beat him better. I get baited by his ult so much. But, I mean, that's why you don't ban gods. Play against them and get better against them. This is how it works. Okay, you're getting dumpstered. Alright, horrific catching dubs, dude. Horrific catching dubs. There it is. I needed that. I did need that to get back in the game. I was pretty far out for a minute there. I like my horrific pickup, actually. I normally don't go horrific, but in this matchup, it just felt like the right thing to do. He's going to have attack speed over me, but I'm going to have power over him. So if I can even out the attack speed and just straight up do more damage for auto and we're autoing at the same speed, then, I mean, basic math says I win those fights, right? So... He surrendered as soon as I stopped his back. I was not surrender worthy. Like, you're 400 gold down and we're pretty much the same level. Why would you surrender that? That's pretty lame. I'll be honest. That's pretty lame. Like, there, there's, there's, no, there's no reason you surrender that game. Have some faith in yourself. But, you know, is what it is. I guess some people just don't want to play the game. Um, just go on to game two. Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back to game number two. Um, we got a hard decision to make again. There's AMC open. There's Kali open. There's Hebo open. There's Oleron open. Obviously, if I pick Hebo and he picks Fenrir, I'm kind of sad. Uh, sets open. He's okay right now. He's not doing the hottest, to be honest. Freya's open again. Um, but you know, in Try Hard Thursdays, I try not to play the same god twice per video. Uh, Hades is open. Uh, I'm not the best Hebo, but even a bad Hebo beats all other gods unless it's Fenrir. But I'm also thinking maybe I just Oleron. But then if he picks Hebo, I'm kind of sad. If I Oleron and he AMCs, who wins? If I Hebo and he AMCs, who wins? I pick Kali here. Yeah, he Olerons. Okay. That's the worst matchup possible. I was hoping he picked Fenrir, AMC, or Hebo. Because any of those matchups are good for Kali. <clears throat> um, fighting an Oleron as Kali is... Just a horribly tragic moment for me. One for the books, for sure. Um, I guess we just do this, man. I mean, there's not really much I can do here. Also, unfortunately, I think we give him... I think we give him red. I wholeheartedly believe I cannot stop him if he wants to do red. His, his level 3 fight is just infinitely better than mine, straight up. Unless I get a really good start on it. Um, you don't win this, do you? Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know what that was. He used his abilities on the buff and didn't actually hit me with them. And then still decided he wanted to, to play that fight out. If he hit me with the three, then I lose that fight because I am slow and also uh, knocked up. And he gets a lot of confirmed damage on me off the bat. But he missed the three and then still wanted to fight that. That was a pretty bad call by him. Keep in mind, this guy uh, is higher MMR than me. So he's not like a bad player or anything. Uh, you do win or you lose this fight too. All right, really good. Really good stuff. I used my abilities in the correct order in order to use three auto cancels for maximum damage per auto. If you don't know, Kali's auto attack chain means that her first auto attack every time is going to do more damage. Her auto chain goes one and then 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So if you get that first auto out multiple times, you're going to be happier. And I did. Um, he doesn't have any lifesteal or anything. I don't know if I'm scared of him. Oh, he had level five, so I definitely am scared of him. If he didn't hit level five, then I wouldn't be scared, but oh, also, that was a really bad ult. Obviously going to want to stop my back, so I'll run back a little bit. That didn't even hit me. I don't know. I don't know why I moved. There's literally no chance that ever hits me. This should do well. If he charged it up more, then yeah, sure. It could have gone far enough to hit me. But like, he shot that bitch so fast, I should have known there's no chance it hits me. All right. But I am ahead. I'm level seven. And I have my finished item. Uh, He probably has a finished item now. He has no alt, so I'm like super not scared. Oh man, I am supposed to be a lot faster than him with this 10% movement speed and the also one level on my... Uh, on my level, the one level difference that we had and the 10% from the golden blade, there should be no way he lives there. And the fact that he was able to outrun me kind of pisses me off. Like there's, there, he shouldn't be able to at all, ever. I know I, I threw an auto attack, obviously, but like, still, I should not be that slow. I don't get it. All right, well, my entire lead is out the window now. That's really fucking awful. Honestly, that, that really sucks. All right. I knew it would ult, so I know I had to get out of there. Pretty obvious shit. Nothing too hard to understand about that. Blue is up. All right, that was a little bit close. I'll be honest. I, I didn't think that he would do that much damage, but uh, turns out with full Bancrofts, do a crap ton of damage. Who would have guessed? But I was able to stall long enough to get my kill and then dip out. I'll lose the XP of one minion here, but that's fine. That's fine. Lose the XP of one minion, get back, get safe. I'm okay with it. He's going mid guardian. Obviously, as he should. Um, I'll probably go serrated next. Warded. I don't care. I want this stuff. Here. Do not mind. You 
could not scare me less if you tried. Yeah, I do so much damage. Look at that. I did half his health. That man just hit me for the entirety of me clearing his wave, and then I punched him for like a second, and he almost died. He does a vault right now. And that one can crit, so it might have killed me had it hit. This is why I was being a little bit careful. He's backing, I'm backing, no big deal. I'm going straight at edge because he's going mid-guardian, so... I want a little bit more power and a little bit more pen. Life steal doesn't really matter to me because I'm Kali. Um, I will say it's not bad. Like it's it's potentially 19% life steal, which is really nice. But I can't wait till I get beads. When I get beads, he's dead every time I jump on him. Well, every time I jump on him with beads up. I'm your garbage. Garbage and poop. Go ahead and alt me. I don't mind. Oh, okay. Oh, he actually died still. I thought he got me with the... Uh, I thought he got me with the shell bait there. I'll be honest. I 100% per percent. Really? I just said that out loud. I 100% thought he got me with the shell bait. That was good. I didn't see it coming, but... My tick damage is too strong. I'm gonna med so I have mana to... Uh, basically just do what I want here. Which is... Clear the wave and get the red buff. And... Get my blue buff. I don't want him to get any kind of... Uh, advantage or lead or anything on me. And if I can, I even want to do these. And you know what? If you're not going to pressure me anywhere, I'll clear a wave too. Use my face, tank it. I don't care about the HP because I'm backing anyways after this wave. <clears throat> Alright. Let's get out of here, boys. Get out of here. Um... Go Frostbound. <coughs> Here's something to note. I am completely slow immune in my ult, so mid Guardian, while I'm ulted, will not slow me. It will slow my attack speed, however, which sucks, but is what it is. Um, so, while I'm ulted, if I have Frostbound and he has mid Guardian, and we fight each other, uh, while I'm ulted, he'll be slowed and I will not be, so that's pretty good. Let's get him to fight. I don't really care much about this fight because I don't think that I win it, but... If he sits here and fights me, then I win it, but the chances of him actually, like, turning around and auto-trading me is very low. I mean, I think him and I both know, like, he, he has more MMR than me, right? So he's at minimum 3,100. Oh, I can actually just check. At minimum, he's 3103. Because I'm 3102 and he's high, he is higher. Yeah, he's 3218. So he's not a bad player. Like, he knows shit about the game. He knows that if he fights me, he, he loses. The way he wins the game is by basically running. Alright, he backed. I'm going to do Bull Demon because I can't really... I'm having a hard time getting to his tower. So, whatever. I'll prolong the game a little bit. I'm Kali, so prolonging the game is not bad anyways. Only thing I don't want from this is him stealing, which he didn't, thankfully. He's going to clear wave. I'm not going to care. And then I'm ready to fight. Don't want to. Okay. I mean, I am down for a free alt any day of the week. Okay. exactly what I said would happen. When I ulted and his mid-guardian wasn't slowing me anymore, the only option he had was to 
use his sprint to get out of there. That's it. I could maybe do his blue, but I also think that might be a little bit risky because one, I don't even know if it's up. And if I jump over the wall there and it's not up, then I, I'm going to have trouble securing my own blue with the wasted time. So I'd rather take the guaranteed two buffs here with the red, the red buff and then my blue rather than potential three, which I don't know if it's, if it's the right play, to be completely honest, but you know, yeah, nobody ever really knows these things, you know? How much HP do you have? 1,700? A little bit less than me, but I have Frostbound. I mean, you have Midgard, which is actually more HP. Why do I have more HP than you? Oh, I'm three levels ahead. That's probably why. Take that to the face so it doesn't clear my wave. And then just auto attack the wave to clear it because lifesteal. We're good to go. Jump. Run. The reason we run is because we know when we jump, he's going to three. It's his only line of defense against me. Going to wait here for him to turn the corner. Jump on him again. He shouldn't have three. I lied. He's just better than me and predicted it. Uh, you don't win this fight. I do have ult. You're going to have to ult. You didn't ult. Okay. If he ults, he lives there. I mean, well, to be fair, he's got no cooldown. And I, I just got my ult back up, so... He probably didn't have his ult. I know that the ult on Oleron lowers, cooldown on it lowers, the more time that passes by, but I don't know if it was that low yet. That's going to be a Phoenix. This matchup sucks. I'm really lucky that I got a first blood. Because if I didn't get first blood, this, this game could honestly have gone a very different way. I'm going to go Kin's last item because, again, he I mean, he's he built 300 HP here. His HP is going to go probably... He's level 14 with, with how much? 1,800 already? I'd say... By the time he's level 20, he has probably 2,400 HP. Which is good for Kins, so... I'll take it. I have beads. I have no alt, though, so I'm not going to be dumb and, and... Push. I will clear a wave and... You know, throw a two every once in a while, but fighting him is not in the cards right now. Just farm up. Make sure the only XP that he gets on this map is from our minions and we'll be fine. I do have my ult now. If he pushed up. It does look like I went to Bull Demon. No? Alright, I do have beads. I'm not going to beat the three here, because he might ult, and if he does, I'm going to have to beat that. He didn't. Alright. It's fine, I guess. Whatever. I can fight him now and still win the fight, by the way, so I'm not scared of him. Again, like I said, the only XP I want him to get on this map is the XP from my minions. And that's just unavoidable. I mean, I could maybe... Uh, well, actually, no, I could. I was going to say I could maybe stall, but I have fire minions and he has normal minions, so stalling wouldn't even work. All right. I want to clear one more wave and then do bull demon. The reason being is I want the gold in order to back... To get full kins on my back. Right now I'm 200 gold off. If I did bull demon and then back, I wouldn't have enough. So with that wave and now doing bull demon, I should be I should be good. Especially with the passive income of six gold a second, you know. See if he contests this. He might. I mean it would be kind of a weird play, but I mean, at the end of the day, he does have a sprint, so. That will do. So he can live a little bit longer than you expect. And now I'll start to pressure Titan. Now I have Kins to do quite a bit of damage to him. He's got almost 2,000 health, only level 15.
I'm not even going to use abilities on this wave. I want to just save them for him. Perfect. All right, the jump in place was oh, okay. The jump in place was because he's been uh he's been threeing my my jumps all game, so I figured if I jumped in place I might bait his three out. Minions. All right. We got both of his relics there. And I altered to avoid the knockup, by the way. Like I said, we're pretty much just going to try to bully him here. This should be okay. All right. I beads because I didn't know if he had his three up. And if he did have his three up and he actually hit it there, I would be in some deep shit. But he already has, I mean, he had 2000 HP. So the Kins was a good pickup and he was only level 17 too. Maybe even 16 still. I'm not not entirely sure. He might have only been level 16. But um, yeah, so good stuff so far. Good stuff. Plus 100 MMR. He left the lobby very quick. I will see you guys in game number three. Okay, boys, game number three. I'm going to do the ballsy thing. Fenner is open, but I'm going to lock in Hebo. He might play Heimdall, but we'll see. Nike, what the fuck? Freaking heck. It's so unexpected. Just so unexpected. Honestly, just so unexpected. His name is Sadly. All right. <laughs> well, Sadly. I'm sad. That I'm going to have to do this to you. Dude, what if he just craps on my soul? Like, what if he actually beats me? He might. I kind of want some defense here. It's only five defense. I kind of want to go Warrior's Axe into, like, Bancroft's and just be, like, just be, like, Omega Tanky. This just gives me 10 physical prots, 20 power, and obviously the healing, too. Pretty good. Oh, he didn't even load in. All right, we pause. We pause for him. Oh, he's here. Ready? He has two Ys, right? He does have two Ys. I assume he's ready. I mean, he didn't respond to me, but he's he's loaded in. Minions have hmm. spawned. He has time to make it to red. This place I'll ward the blue. For what's next. I don't know. The fact that Hebo one kills the minis instantly is disgusting all right pop one of each see what do you get oh he did that too he did the good old special the good old i'm gonna tank special i mean he is nike to be fair so it makes more sense for him than it does for me um you got thorns which doesn't make sense to be honest all right. I didn't really care about actually knocking him up. I just wanted the uh, Warrior's Axe proc. The more healing, the better. And then we'll go over to his, his blue buff. It's weird he came straight to lane. I, I wouldn't... I, I didn't expect that. I really would have thought that he would have... Uh, been slightly more aggressive on something. Uh, I was going to go for the dive with my alt, but he's quick with the back, man. He's quick with the back. What can I say? Oh, let's throw the MMR up here for a second. Let's see what this says. 1,700. Okay. Not the worst, not the best. Not the worst, not the best. Better than when you start, because you start at 1,500, so... You know, we take those. Hmm. 
The Nike pick is weird though, man. It is weird. Like you just really don't expect to fight a Nike ever. Those minions just gave the new definition of absolutely fucked. How is his clear? It's not that good. Not bad. You alt this? I would have if I were you. At least forced my alt out, but it's okay. There's nothing up on the map, and I'm a little bit scared that he might come murder me, so I'm just going to go ahead and back. I mean, there's the XP camp right here, but I have triple buff control, so dying is not... I mean, like, fighting for that, for XP camp, is not worth it for me right now. Alright, group him up and clear him. Okay. Uh, even though you have Warrior's Axe and Tier 2 Defense, I am doing quite a bit of damage to you. You don't scare me too much. Oh, missing that sucks. Weird. Oh, I suck. Alright, you got an ult. Didn't ult. I don't know why he didn't ult. I'm using med so I can clear this red. I probably could have just auto attacked it down, but it's a little risky because my auto attacks do like not much damage at all. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and um, assume that Warriors X and Bancrofts is enough survivability to keep me in the game. And I'm just going to go straight into Divine right now. This guy does not like alting, though. That's a little weird. Mm, hitting me here doesn't make too much sense. My Bancrofts will keep me in. Probably going to alt me. Oh, no. Popped thorns and ran away. Okay. And I will get this blue. Jump, knock up, one, uh, your alt would kind of bait me here. Don't see him though. All right. I don't see him. I assume he backed, so I'm just going to go about my normal day during buffs and Backing for damage. You know, normal Hebo things. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Dude, I made... I made my coffee today. And it, I, I didn't use much... I didn't use much actual, like, beans, I guess. But they're ground beans, but whatever. Like, I didn't use too much actual coffee. And, um... I, it was the first time I ever used creamer that was like in a bottle, you know, because I always use those individual little creamer things and I severely fucked up. It was actually gross. It was actually disgusting. I feel bad as, as I should. I altered his entire shield off instantly. Uh, boom damage. Boom damage. Oh god. Wait, I just realized we're six minutes in. He could definitely surrender this game. I've I've been in complete control this entire game. I don't think that he's really gonna be able to win. Uh, he has no form of healing, so I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go Divine. I could go Spear <clears throat> or Sunder, Sundering Spear, whatever you want to call it. doesn't matter. Uh, I could go Sunder here as my second Relic, but I think as Hebo, my ult is going to take away his ult regardless. And my abilities just do more than his. So at the end of the day, like I come out on top almost every fight. 
and he jumps in every fight which i think is definitely contributing to his loss and there's the surrender okay cool beans dude cool beans so fat man i'm working on it i'm working on it i'm working out i'm dieting I'm started again three days ago after having covid but so fat whatever let's go to the next game what's up boys so you guys can't see actually never mind hold on i'll let you see real quick uh he banned ymir achilles and chalk i don't know what that means but all i know is, is he might be a good player and trying to debate me if he is trying to debate me consider it not what he picked Knox. oh big knocks I yearn for power. what are you lost you picked Knox, dude Jeez, we shining midas okay hello shining midas the Knox, the Knox gamer um i'm gonna go i probably want some range on Knox, so i'm gonna go bluestone i'm gonna go bluestone crusher here just for as much damage as possible. Now, I know it's bad because I can only get one potion. However, hear me out. I have 30 power and I have bluestone. So, I'm doing a lot of damage. My my abilities are definitely going to do a lot of damage. <clears throat> Don't count me out just yet. I mean, I, I also I'm fighting a Nox, so it's not like it's going to be that difficult. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he's the best Nox in the world and he beats my ass. You never know these things. Okay. He did just hit his full combo already. Ouch. My clear should be really good with how much power I have. Was very good. My goodness. My very good. Hello? Hello? Okay, look, as much as you think you win this fight, you definitely do not. You hit a good combo, all right? I'll admit. I'll admit. The combo was solid. But you're Nox at the end of the day. That's all of your damage. You hit the combo, then you run away. You never full commit on Nox. All right, first blood and red buff goes my way. Um... I will say, the guy has not missed a single combo so far on me. So, keep that in mind. That might that might come uh, full, circle, full circle and bite me in the ass. That's what I was trying to say. We'll crush her now. Get some mana sustain. He's breaking all my hives, man. All my hives. What are they called? Oh, there's hives. They're actually just called hive. Hive swarm honey stinger. They're so generic. Like, Zing Tin's alt is whirlwind of fire and steel. You know? And <laughs> AMC's alt is stinger. <laughs> like, what the fuck? What if, what if, what if Zing Tin's alt was straight up spinny boy? Like, it was just called spinny boy the fuck that's exactly that's the amc treatment man then again he's op so yeah okay that actually killed him i ult hit for 255 and i have no items yet all right crusher complete all right my damage is outlandish right now i'm doing so much I don't think there's... Oh, by the way, I'm trying something new on AMC here. I am maxing the two. I always max the three because I think the three is just straight up better to max. Generally. But... I see a lot of people maxing the two still and I'm wondering if... Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, but I see a lot of people maxing the two still. And I feel like it's not good. But. I mean, so far this game has felt pretty good. 
just the the raw damage output that it has it's nice it is nice there's nothing on the map up Dude, I do so much tick damage right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this poor Nox. This poor Nox. I need to see what your MMR is. Hold on. What is it? Oh no. Oh my god. 800. My guy has 850 MMR, banning Ymir, Chalk, Achilles, and then picking Nox. Oh, no. Oh, like, actually, oh, no. And and fighting him on Tryhard Thursday over any of my meme days, too. Like, I got messages. I got people making Twitter accounts to tell me in that the, the one Kuzunbo game I had against that 900 MMR player. Where I just beat the shit out of them. And they were telling me that I should like. They were upset to see me beat him that bad. And uh, and I should give him free lessons and stuff. And he yet. Oh Christ I killed him. And yet here I am. Actually tryharding against a Nox. That has 800 MMR. Which by the way. First off. I got a message. On, on Twitter that says, why didn't I give him any respect? Why did I actually play against that guy that was 900 MMR instead of troll? And first off, if you're trolling against your opponent, you are not giving them respect. Trying your best against an opponent is handing them your respect, period. Just straight up, that's how it works. Secondarily, oh my God, my damage is insane. Secondarily, I'm not just gonna hold an L to a 900 MMR player because it'll make him feel better. That's not, that's not how ranked works. If that was, I would never lose because people wouldn't want to, <laughs> want to hurt my feelings. Where are you? My two does so much damage. Maybe I'll start maxing the two more often again. I don't know. Might just be a Nox thing. Hey, props to this guy. He hasn't surrendered yet. <clears throat> it's actually impressive. The first item, Soul Gem. <clears throat> okay. I mean, when I think about people who spam abilities, Nox definitely doesn't come to mind. But, I could see it. Oh, okay, he did surrender. What a, what a wild ride. What a wild ride. Just massive amounts of damage against an 850 MMR Nox. I don't know. I, I think people might get mad at me for this game too. Probably. I mean, people are going to get mad at me for everything I do, right? That's just how it works. But they're probably going to get mad at me for this game in particular. I just want you to know. Trying your best against someone does mean you're giving them your respect. And you shouldn't get mad at me because it's Tryhard Thursday anyways. See you guys in the next game. All right, boys, potentially, potentially the last game of the episode or, you know, video, whatever you want to call it. It kind of is an episode. Um, fighting a Loki. Oh, it's no, no. Wait, no, this isn't the 800 MMR guy, right? This guy's the 1700 MMR one. Oh, he won a couple games. He's 1900 now. Let's go. Why do I feel like a proud parrot? <laughs> like, hey, my boy. He got a couple wins. <laughs> I really don't know why I felt like a proud parent all of a sudden. But hey, almost 2,000 MMR. That's pretty good. One of the higher MMR opponents I've had today, believe it or not. I, I fought one guy. I mean, I think you guys only saw one game of his. Maybe two of them. I'm not sure. But I fought one guy like four times. That was 3,000 MMR. And then like 800. I win these, right? Spoil 
Okay. I guess he was uh, not the most confident play there. He wanted to fight, but then realized that he wasn't winning it because Medusa's early game is ridiculous and just decided to be like, you know what? Take your first blood. I'm not going to... Wait, does my three do damage to minions? Dashing enemies, she passes through. It damages minions? No. Really? Oh my god, it does. When did they make that change? That's so weird. I had no idea, actually. Huh. And it's got just as good of scaling as the two, also. So... Weird to say. But your three is just as good wave clear as your two. Alright, you're ulting away. I'm not dumb. Or you're ulting me. Okay. We're dead. Dude, it's so weird to say that your three is just as good a wave clear as your two. Like, I two, three, and clear the wave. What? That's so crazy. That's so crazy to me. Whatever, I'm backing. You are going to go... My blue? I'm not going to care. I'm just going to wait till I get Crusher. And then we're going to absolutely slam... Implement of torture. All right, where you at, boy? You at, boy? Ordered my blue. Going to his blue. I presume. They may run, but they will never hide from me. All right, here we go. Just so much damage. So much. He paused. He paused. I just hit him so hard, he paused. My guy did 100 damage to me. And I did all of the damage to him. I'm not going to math all that damage up, but it's a lot. Let's just go back. Let's just go back. I'm going to go Transcendence here. I like... I actually like this build. I don't know where I saw it. I don't think I saw it in the SWC. Or the SPL in general. Oh, I saw it in Season 9. It's a Season 9 build that I'm doing. But it's Atalanta's into Transcendence is what some people were doing. I don't know. Transcendent second doesn't feel very bad, to be honest. Oh, hello. Big damage. Oh, he got me. He got me. He got me. I went in. I went in and I didn't know if I was going to make it out. But sometimes that's how heroes are made. Sometimes that's how heroes are made. Other times they just die like dumbasses like like what just happened to me. But sometimes that's how heroes are made. Let's see. He's not here. I was about to alt the corner, but I figured, you know what? I'll wait because <laughs> if he's not here, it's going to be really dumb if I alt the corner. I 
guess we're just kind of chilling. Me and you. You and me. Hanging out. Doing hot girl shit together. I'm going to slowly take your tower. I missed everything. Including my dash. Imagine being good at the game. Could not be me, dude. Oh, oh. 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 What was the extra 20 damage tick from? Oh, was that his one? It might have been his one. Probably is. It was probably his one. I didn't know, but it was probably his one. Also, am I taking tower here? No, but it's damn close. I hear Appa going fucking ballistic in the background. I don't know what is going on over there, but he is either having the time of his life or dying. There's no in between. <laughs> By the way, it's the time of his life. Don't get worried. It was just playing with him. I saw you. I don't know where you went, but I did. Oh, I heard you. All right. I can't kill him here. He has a lot of HP. Oh man. I was I was really hoping. I was really hoping that that would kill because of the fact that uh, I have Crusher, but Crusher did not do nearly enough damage to him. Crusher takes in physical damage, so it's fair. Are you chasing me? No, you're not. Okay. I ran that whole time for no reason. He wasn't even chasing. <laughs> uh, okay. <coughs> the way to beat Loki is to build HP. Um, Mid Guardian has a lot of HP, so we build it. Uh, building defense against Loki doesn't really do that much because normal Loki builds have so much pen in them that he's going to one-hit you regardless of how much defense you have. However, building HP... Why did that just do an extra 310 damage? Oh no, maybe it was 3 and 10 and they just was next to each other and it looked like 310. More than likely exactly what happened. Waiting for me to fuck up. Alright, I have alt now, so we're fine. We can actually do bull demon. I couldn't do it before, because if he ulted me, then I was dead. But now, if he ults me, I can just ult. Okay, that was really cool. I can't auto through that thing. Would it not? That was really cool. That blink was sick. I'm proud of it. Even though maybe I shouldn't be. That was a cool ass blink. And it was it was made even cooler by the fact that I got the kill too. You know. Maybe I go mystical. I 
20% CCR. Eh, why not? You know, fuck it. Why not just get both? I don't know. I don't need damage. I'm Medusa. Who cares? I have enough damage in my kit. I don't need to build it. The fuck? Just buy all the defense. Look at that. I clear the wave and I have fucking one item. Alright. Time to very, very slowly and methodically poke away at this phoenix. Unless he messes up and I murder him. How good is your clear? Okay, well, I actually got half of the Phoenix down. Because his clear is really not good. I also have thorns and alt if he fights me. I don't know where he is. I don't, I don't know where the fuck he went. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh. Okay, that was a good strat. Alright, whatever. I'll just back here. I'll just back here. I spent all my gold on potions and then just fucking face tank the Phoenix until I get it. That's the game plan. Is it good? Absolutely not. But it is mine. Doing those things. It's fine. I don't care. My three clear wave. It does. That's so weird to me. Heard that. Oh. Alright, some pretty good tit. Some pretty good damage on the Titan there. And by Titan, obviously, I mean Phoenix. I'm not a psychopath. Oh, God. Nice. All it took was one solid bait. One solid bait. And, you know... 400 gold of health pots doesn't hurt. Alright. I clearly cannot end the game right now. I don't do that much damage. Might be the fact that I have two defensive items and two tank items. As a hunter. <laughs> that could contribute to the fact that I have an inability to end the game due to lack of damage. However, it is keeping me alive and slowly winning me the game. Okay? So don't judge me. Or you can judge me. I don't care. Honestly. <laughs> Let's go, man. Mm. He has no pen. At all. And I have double defense. He actually, like, why... He just went to go do my wave. I literally just walked... This isn't even backdooring. I just... I just walked straight up the... I just walked straight up the minion. Or straight up the lane. And he just avoided me the whole time. I wasn't even trying to backdoor. He just never showed up. <laughs> like it, it wasn't like I was avoiding him to go back door. Anyways. GG, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hold on. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We went from 3,000 MMR to 3,375 MMR, which is a huge difference. Um, 
And yeah, I mean, there was probably a couple games in there that you didn't see because of DCs or just lame plays. But overall, it was a really good video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.